everybody, it's Ryan here at Pilot Co-op Whitewater Canoe and Kayak School. Today we're talking about wet exits. So we already did a video on kind of like the dry wet exit. We're going to do a video on the wet wet exit now. We've had the chance to practice this on land. We're getting comfortable with it. We kind of understand the steps. We've gone through the sort of body motions of doing it. So now we're going to put it into practice. One tip that I can offer from having taught hundreds of beginners over the years is that if you can be calm, cool, and collected, it's going to help your wet exit experience big time. It's okay to be nervous about flipping over with the skirt on. Just about everybody is, I was. It took me a while to build up the confidence to actually even try anything close to a roll. Um, that's okay. The important thing is you wanna try doing a wet exit in a calm, safe spot, ideally with great people around that you're comfortable with. And another tip that I can offer is these things, nose plugs. You can get them at Front and Neck Outfitters. They prevent your nose from getting water going up your nostrils, and it makes your life a heck of a lot easier. So again, what I'm gonna do is lean forward, tap three times, and then pull my grab loop, push the skirt off like a pair of pants, or push the boat off like a pair of pants, and away I go, I should be popping up. After I've done my wet exit, I'm gonna keep my boat upside down because there's a lot of air that'll be trapped in it at that point, and it'll make my time a lot easier for rescuing, or if anybody else is rescuing me, it'll make their life a lot easier. So again, leaning forwards, tapping three times, pulling that grab loop and pushing the, skirt, the boat off like a pair of pants, and then finally, keeping the boat upside down, I can swim in shore and bring the boat with me, or if I've got somebody to rescue me, they'll rescue me. Here we go. Stay cool, stay cool, stay cool. As I'm underwater, it doesn't need to take that long. The first time, if you wanna just flip over and pull that skirt, great, you can do that. But this exercise is nice if you're in a comfortable spot or in a pool or something like that, where you can be sort of working to build that confidence underwater. Because it's definitely a skill building confidence in a kayak underwater. Last tip, when your boat is full, bring it into shore, get one end up, on the shore. Now we'll go to the other end, I'll lift it up, Woo! and I'll rock it from side to side. Having those airbags in it is really making my life easy here because there's not a lot of water that's not in the boat. There's always going to be a little bit of water left in the boat afterwards. You can just leave it, or if you've got a drain plug, then that's the time when you undo the drain plug, lift the boat up and let it drain out from the bottom. That's our wet exit video. If you enjoyed this, there's lots more that you can see on our website, powderpoop.ca. Or if you want to sign up for a course, we teach lots of people how to get into whitewater for their first time, whether it's in a canoe or a kayak, at pilotcoop.ca. Thanks for watching, we hope you enjoyed it. Leave a comment or subscribe if you like the video, and we'll see you on the river.